Upcoming departures are expected in WWE, but first, Tony Khan has reacted to the arrest of Cash Wheeler. Last week, news would drop that one half of the AEW World Tag Team Champions, Cash Wheeler, was arrested in Orange County, Florida, with him charged with aggravated assault with a firearm. The arrest followed a warrant on July 28, following what was described as a road rage incident the day prior. Speaking on the AEW All In London media call last night, Tony Khan would be asked if there was any doubt as to if the tag team title match with the Young Bucks was in jeopardy following the incident and he would say, As for things that have happened outside of the ring, I can't comment on specifics at this time because I still don't know everything. We're still learning facts. Based on the information we have at this time, we're still keeping an eye on that situation. At this time, I think it's a very inconclusive situation. It differs from other times where we've come in and weighed in or acted on a situation based Based on the evidence because in this case, with everything we're looking at, I don't think we have those facts right now. At this point, I think it's rather inconclusive. I do very much look forward to the match and we'll keep an eye out throughout this weekend and as long as it's a pending situation. Khan would then be asked when he first found out about the news within responding, because of the nature of it, I'll be honest, it's not like I've known for a long time, but on the other hand, I've tried to gather all the facts and information. I don't want to comment too much on the situation, but we're still gathering information and that's what I've been trying to do for several days. Given that AEW has been full steam ahead when it comes to the match, even after the warrant was issued, this either indicates that management was aware of the situation and are confident that there won't be any issues entering the UK, or that they simply weren't aware until the rest of us found out. And before we continue, let me just quickly plug my latest video where I explore what surprises we could see this Sunday at AEW All In London, including some potential debuts, returns, and maybe even a major retirement. Be sure to check it out after this video if you're looking forward to the show. And next, the AEW All In London card is set to change. Speaking of AEW All In and potential issues with certain matches, elsewhere on the media call, Tony Khan would reveal due to some issues outside of his control, there is going to be some reshuffling of the card for this weekend's Wembley show. Tony would note that the changes won't affect the AEW World title or AEW World Tag Title match and said, I expect more changes. They are not changes I wanted to make or planned to make. I'm not talking about the World Championship match or even the World Tag Team title match. There will probably be some other changes to the card necessitated by things happening in the real world. Stuff in some cases, stuff that is nobody's fault, but stuff that is not related to the world of professional wrestling. I'm going to try to work through this week to make it as strong as possible and hopefully make the card better than it had been. There will be changes to the card. I plan to add something and I might have to make some changes in the body of the card. They are not changes that will change the quality of the show and I'm glad the big matches are in such a good position right now. Fightful Select would then release a follow-up report shortly after the media call with them revealing one of the changes that will be happening before the show and they would write. As of Tuesday, Ray Phoenix is no longer planned for AEW All In. However, we're told that there are plans in place to explain it. The indication that we were given was that Phoenix was travel or visa related, as opposed to an injury, but that has yet to be confirmed. Fightful were unable to confirm if Phoenix is being replaced in the stadium stampede match where he is set to team with Eddie Kingston, Orange Cassidy, Best Friends and his brother Penta, or if it will be adjusted from a 6v6 match into a 5-on-5 five -five match, although this would result in one of the Blackpool Combat Club members or one of their mystery partners dropping out. And next, a top AEW star has made a big announcement. As we edge closer to AEW All In, the news regarding the show continues to pour in as former AEW World Champion Chris Jericho would take to Twitter last night to reveal that not only will he be wrestling Will Ospreay on the card, but he will also be taking part in a musical performance. In a video posted to social media, the lead singer of Fozzy would reveal that he and his band will be performing his Judas entrance music live Live, and he would say, Hey guys, Chris here, and I'm just super excited about this weekend. Obviously, Fozzie playing this Friday at the O2 Forum in Kedgestown. It is officially our highest selling, biggest headlining gig of all time. Tickets still available for that. But the huge announcement is Fozzie will also be playing at All In in Wembley Stadium. 
for the first time ever, I'm going to sing myself to the ring with Fozzie playing live. We are going to be playing Judas live for you in Wembley Stadium at All In. As noted by Jericho, Fozzie are also set to hold a concert at the O2 Forum in Kentish Town, London, two nights prior to the event, this, this for those that are either in the area or in town early for All In. And next we have an update on this retiring wrestling legend. The icon Sting is edging closer towards the end of his current AEW contract with the former WCW world champion seemingly entering the final stretch of his near four decade long career. Speaking at the AEW All In London media scrum this week, AEW president Tony Khan would be asked if Sting would be sticking around beyond his current contract and he would reply, Sting is very well aware that I would like him to stay as long as he feels feels physically up to wrestling. I think he enjoys doing it and he's having a lot of fun. Sometimes you hit on things in life that you think are going to be good and they turn out to be great. For me, a good example of that is Sting and Darby together, not just on screen, but off screen too. There have been so many great memories for Sting in AEW. I don't want it to end. I won't be the one to pull the plug on it. When the time comes, Sting knows he needs to be the one to say, I don't want to do this anymore because I'm going to let him go as long as he wants. I want him to stay as long as he can. It's so important to me that we let Sting finish his career the right way. Whilst there has been speculation that Sting could retire this weekend at Wembley Stadium, the man himself has admitted that he doesn't see that happening just yet. As for his contract, he would make his AEW debut in December 2020 and likely signed the deal in either November or December of that year, so we're looking at around two to four months left on his current agreement. Next up, an AEW star has given their true thoughts on CM Punk's attitude. As it stands, the wrestling fan base is split when it comes to their feelings towards CM Punk, with him arguably being the most divisive name in the business right now. AEW announcer Paul White would appear in an interview with DAZN this week where he would share his thoughts on recent reports of backstage heat towards Punk, this from a certain side of the locker room, something that doesn't surprise him due to his sheer passion, and White would say, a lot of people may not like Phil's attitude. I've known Phil for a long time. We've been friends for a long time. Phil is super competitive and super driven. He expects a lot from himself and he expects a lot from others around him. I think a lot in the beginning here is just a communication breakdown. People might not understand how passionate Phil is. Phil is a guy that's going to let you know if he's upset about something and he's not going to give a crap if he hurts your feelings. He's not. He's never been that way with me. If I've screwed up and done something, he's let me know right away what was I thinking and it goes back and forth. I kind of have the same attitude. Paul would then add that despite his tendency to ruffle some feathers, CM Punk's star power is undeniable and he would say, not quite as intense as Phil, but mine is very business oriented. What's best for the program? What's best for the overall show? A lot of times in a business, when you have this many incredible talents with this many egos, feathers are going to get rubbed the wrong way. There's going to be a conflict. I mean, it's not romper room. This is a serious business with serious athletes and everyone has to learn to communicate their passion in different ways. Still, the one thing that unequivocally nobody can deny is CM Punk brings star power. Next up, CM Punk has named the AEW star that has the it factor. And speaking of CM Punk, one person that does get along with the Second City Saint is former AEW TNT champion Darby Allen, who was in fact Punk's first ever opponent in AEW two years ago. In a chat with Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated ahead of All in London, the Chicago Blackhawks fan would be asked who the Connor Bedard is of AEW, somebody who was recently drafted as their top pick and Punk would say, it's Darby Allen. He's still fairly young and he always makes chicken salad out of chicken sh He's got that it factor and he's really getting comfortable. We had a whole big promo segment a few weeks ago on Collision and I thought he shined. That made me super proud. He has a ton to offer as long as he doesn't kill himself jumping over his house in a monster truck or something like that. 
And next, a wrestling legend has provided a major health update. In January 2022, former wrestler turned booker Conan would reveal that he was in need of a kidney donor following a series of health issues, this after being hospitalized one year prior. Speaking with Nick Hausman on the House of Wrestling podcast this week, K-Dog would break the news that he has now found somebody that is very close to being able to donate a kidney to him, although some steps need to be taken in order for this to happen. And he would say... I'm feeling great, but dialysis is not something you want to be on forever because of two things. Number one, your kidneys are only at 10% functionality. Number two, dialysis isn't like you can be on dialysis forever and live off of it. You'll eventually die. So basically, I have to find a donor and I have one right now. They just have, there's this BMI index. They have to lose six more pounds and then they can donate their kidney. And we still got to make sure they're compatible. So, you know, I always try to think positively because thinking negatively, negatively doesn't help anything. The current AAA booker has previously underwent a kidney transplant before, this in 2007, with him one step closer to once again finding a suitable donor 16 years later. Next up, a current AEW star has confirmed that they are cancer free. In December 2021, legendary announcer Jim Ross would confirm that he is officially cancer free, this following radiation treatment in his battle with skin cancer. Last night, Ross would once again share some positive health news as following a recent MRI right to check for cancer in his tibia, he would reveal that tests have come back negative and he would say, good news, MRI came back negative, no cancer in my tibia. Following his fall prior to the debut episode of AEW Collision, Ross has been taking time off to heal up and deal with a number of health issues, with him now seemingly edging closer to becoming a regular fixture on all elite television once again. And next up, upcoming departures are expected in WWE. One of the biggest news stories of the year so far has been the Endeavor merger of both WWE and the UFC, with the media group set to purchase the world's biggest wrestling company from Vince McMahon. According to PW Insider, high up sources believe that the takeover is nearing its completion, with confirmation expected to take place by the middle of September, with this expected to trigger some immediate departures. And the report notes, there is a sense of doom and gloom among some WWE employees already as the feeling is that if you aren't in the production studios or directly involved with WWE talent, you could find yourself on the redundancy list and potentially let go. As one longtime company employee noted, UFC and WWE won't need two distinct travel offices, accounting departments, etc. PW Insider would then add that some people within the company are already looking for another job and they would write, there are a number of employees quietly looking for their next job out of fear of having to pivot and getting out ahead of potential layoffs. How many are actually cut from the company will remain to be seen, but it's been a big topic of conversation among those working in Stamford as they realize the end of McMahon family ownership will be here in just a few weeks. With budget cuts expected, fans have speculated that this could stretch to the talent roster, although there is no word on there being any such releases as of yet. And make sure you check out what surprises we could see at AEW All in London. 